The exhibition is called Present Continuous and it um, brings together four works that were made between 2011 and 2016. The earliest work uh, in the show is called 5,000 Feet is the Best and um, what it does is combine um, interview um, with uh, interview segments with a drone sensor operator uh, whom I met in Los Angeles in 2010 and we talked about his life and his work and I um, wanted to ask him essentially what he does and what his work looks like. Um, I think of my work very often in terms of portraits and I think of it in terms of uh, portraits of work or of workers and so in this exhibition uh, 5,000 feet is the best is uh, the first portrait that you see uh, of this young man he's 26 years old um, and he was working for six years in the uh, drone program um, and he controls the uh, optics and the um, uh, weapon systems on, on the drone and uh, he was doing it for six years and I met him uh, very uh, recently after he had uh, finished his work and we, um, we talked about what, um, what his daily routine is like, um, what his working environment is like, what the technical aspects of his work uh, are like, and then of course what his work uh, involves. And very often because of the nature of the information that he had to say, he was unable to talk about things or he would talk about things uh, off camera. And so when I returned to Berlin with the information, I had a very incomplete um, record of this person or a very incomplete portrait. And what I decided to do was to take the parts that were off camera and to restage them, and to restage them uh, on the one hand in terms of uh, an interview between two actors, and also restage them as flashbacks, as little stories that happened, uh, that happened around uh, Los, um, not Los Angeles, around Las Vegas, where where he works. Uh, and so the work kind of uh, weaves together this more uh, documentary uh, footage with uh, kind of fictionalized. Um, uh, moments that uh, refer back to, to his interview. Um, the uh, second work that we're showing here that also involves uh, portraits uh, is called Everything That Rises Must Converge. And uh, this work was made in 2013 and it was also made in the west coast of the United States. Uh, and what I did was I followed four adult film performers um, for the entire day of work. And so what you're seeing uh, basically is uh, four individuals who kind of wake up um, in their home. They uh, have breakfast, they take care of their personal grooming, they shower, they shave, uh, you know, they eat. Uh, they might take care of kids if they have any, um, and uh, then they drive to work. And when they get to work, they go through the routine that their work day involves, which is uh, very formalized on the one hand. They present uh, their identity cards. Uh, they present their test results, they have to prove that they're not sick, that they don't have any sexually transmitted diseases, and uh, that they're adults, uh, they're adults, that they're able to do this uh, legally. And then they get their scripts, just like any actors, they study their scripts, sometimes they're short, uh, sometimes they're a little bit longer, and uh, they rehearse and then they film. And then when the work is over, they clean up, uh, they get dressed again, and they drive back uh, home and uh, have uh, some quiet time in front of the computer and have dinner. So their life is very routine and obviously very similar to our lives and the work, what it tries to propose is uh, a kind of um, a perspective, a simultaneous perspective into the lives of four individuals who um, have uh, um, sex for a living um, and uh, have it filmed uh, as well. If we connect these two works, both of them uh, are portraits, as I said, but they're portraits of workers whose work is, has a massive effect on, on us. Um, it has a very visible footprint uh, in the world, but is nevertheless very uh, hidden, very secretive. Uh, so for the drone sensor operator, obviously the work is uh, secretive work. It's top secret work. It's uh, defense work. Uh, it involves um, um, U.S. military uh, interests and uh, it involves the, um, the, uh, the army and the CIA and so for these reasons it's uh, secretive, they don't want you to know what, what it is that they're doing and for the adult film performers the work is typically 
uh, made public after it's edited and uh, produced as a as a as a film, but it's never uh, because of what it is. Obviously, it's it's never public. Uh, it's a very private, um, uh, taboo uh, kind of work. So the, what I try to do in these portraits is to negotiate this notion of what this work is. On the one hand, to reveal something. There is a kind of a voyeuristic impulse that is. Um, uh, that is addressed in the work, uh, but then there's also a play with that voyeurism. In other words, uh, uh, in terms of what uh, viewers' uh, expectations might be, uh, the work uh, plays a little bit with that. The other two works that we're showing um, are called uh, Continuity from 2012 and uh, Spring from 2016. And the works are connected uh, uh, to each other and also to the other works that we're showing. I also think of them as portraits. Uh, but unlike 5,000 Feet and Everything That Rises, these are uh, fictionalized uh, stories. So they're complete fictions. I had an idea, I wrote a script, uh, and I got some uh, actors, some performers to, uh, to perform the, the, the roles that I had written. And uh, in a sense, uh, both stories involve uh, family life in Germany. And um, we meet something, we meet a, a situation or a family that at first appears to be very uh, normal. Um, so we have uh, two parents and we have a son and um, uh, they're engaged in some kind of routine activity like having a dinner and whatnot. But in spring, for example, we see a teenager, a teenage son and uh, just before dinner we see him sitting in the in the bathroom and he's almost praying. It feels like he's rehearsing um, the lines that we'll hear later during the dinner scene. So if you're watching carefully, uh, you understand that this notion of family life that the work is presenting uh, in spring um, is very much one that is related to role playing and uh, to scripting. Uh, each one of the characters is actually uh, coming together in order to put together this scene of family life. It's a very scripted uh, scene, uh, but it feels very naturalistic. And so they have the dinner, they have the argument, uh, and then later on they will uh, rehearse this uh, on Skype uh, again. So the work plays with this notion that um, the experience that we have, even uh, in the most basic components of, of life, as in uh, inside a family, uh, and then in a broader sense, uh, collectively in society, when we think about uh, things like um, mothers, fathers, sons, soldiers, um, uh, criminals, uh, prostitutes, uh, film uh, performers, uh, military people. Uh, what the work tries to do is to put together stories about them that um, highlight the degree to which uh, role playing uh, uh, is involved uh, and the, that uh, scripting is involved.